Hello and welcome back to Smore Eliza Peace. The last time we defeated the Door Guardian and got into the Isle of Alchemists. Um, Alright, so the first thing is a hallway. This door is open and it was not open. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> uh, I thought, okay, let's, well, there's an area over here, but... Uh, this is also good. Remember the metal angel. We are simply on a journey that follows his footsteps. Song of the day. The pickpocket who is overconfident in a gamble had his heart stolen and died. Workshop master's work where? Oh, that's definitely better. Uh, workware of the workshop union. Krat, the capital of automated puppets, was built by their hands. Krat's wealth came from machinery and trams, weapons, and automated puppets. Geppetto and the workshop union were the prophets and adventurers of this golden path. The other one was a chest that I saw and I was like, I need to remember to go down to that. And then I just did not. It's not this one. I thought this one was called the work, the collapsed workshop tower or something like that. Okay, I wasn't expecting. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the flamethrower breath. Yeah, anyway. Oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't need to fight that. I'm sure I'll find other stuff as I'm editing, but... I was a little bit doubtful when she said I was the only one who could hear her voice, but I wonder if she was just, like, projecting her image through Argo and, like, nobody else could actually see her for real. No matter what fate brings us, serving her welcome to her. This is a supply box, officially approved by the city of Krat. I shall open it and add it to the hotel shop. Many thanks, good sir. No matter what fate brings us, serving her welcome to her. Ooh. We have three more Moonstone of the Covenant, another skill point. A rusty cryptic vessel. The mo I haven't tried the mo out the moveset of most of these weapons, honestly. Let's, let's just run out here and just okay okay I think I did try out that then we have this one that I put so many resources into this because I thought hey the spinning thing is super cool but uh, yeah 
I I I just I I feel I I don't I don't really like the feel of it when I when I actually tried to use it in combat I didn't really like the feel of it. Definitely not using that. <laughs> oh yeah, I totally forgot to test out that. Ooh. So, when you use the, yeah, it becomes like fiery. Does this do like additional damage or something? Probably. So let's go back to the beginning. We never tried this one. I don't get it. Your oh, temporarily will stand and then miss attack. Okay. <laughs> Damage boost. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Um, I'm trying to press it twice. requires very specific timing. That's also in deer. Okay. Another guard parry thing. Present hold. Okay. Okay, we already tested that one. Okay, this is the cursed knights.
concentrate. Increases his attack temporarily. As opposed. Oh, that is also concentrated, just as a different color for some reason. And the clock one, boom, 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 boom. Um. Does that also concentrate? Bell of provocation. Briefly taunt surrounding enemies to increase the attack of both the character and the enemy. Wow! Yay, glass cannon build. I mean, it better increase your attack significantly to make it worth it, potentially. Because otherwise you might as well just use a... a uh, Otherwise, you might as well just use a handle that has concentration. Wow, that better do some serious damage to be worth it. Because, wow, that would be so easy to miss. I feel like you'd have to be able to just parry and stagger to make that worth it. Um, what am I doing? Endear. Yep. Alright. I don't think I've ever... Absolute counter attack. Perfectly block the enemy's attack temporarily. Right after a successful guard, use Fable Arts to trigger an extra attack. Two fable slots. Same, but puppet ripper. That, uh... Nice. And then...
cool. Okay, let's see. If I just stay in he stay here. So charge the four eighteen roughly. Ah, okay. So the nice thing about it is you can move around and unleash the charge whenever you want. Yeah, I wish I wish the damage would be more consistent though. And yeah, I've to get this weapon because there's a, a strong hint that this weapon belonged to the real Aladoro and I wanted to know if Eugenie having been saved by the real Aladoro would uh, comment on it. You're here. That's a Okay. Well, I'm just going to stick with the weapon I know for now. Oh, Rusty Crypt. One second, we didn't read it. Oh, here we go. Okay, it's generic. I always welcome... Ah, oh, thank you for coming. I was going a bit stir-crazy, as the poets say, cooped up in the hotel. Why don't I read the contents? Oh, I'm sick and tired of reading conversations between society's elite. Hide these, kill that, steal those. It's all the same. And the people who want them deciphered act as if it's the end of the world if they can't read them immediately. <laughs> Tiresome. I am a simple, albeit brilliant man. Solving the code is what makes me happy. And with a friend at my side, what more is there to wish for? Perhaps sometimes I share too much. <laughs> Thank you for listening. A little extra for you in there, my friend. A little extra? Beyond... Okay. Did he somehow... add stuff to the item? <laughs> like... Oh, here, here's some additional stuff in the box that you're going to find in the future. Um, okay. Orders find the cave blocked off by metal bars in the barren swamp. There's a reward at the end of the new road. There's a place called Hermit's Cave. An old man who went crazy after losing his family locked himself up there to pray. It's strange in this age to hear about such a medieval sounding story in Krat, but one thing's clear, it's a good place to hide treasure. Let's forget about the crazy old man, hide the stolen goods and take them back out once it quiets down. Who in their right mind would imagine there's treasure deep in the cave in the barren swamp? Once this panic is over, we'll be rich with the things we scrolled away. That kid's clothes seem like like good quality too. Maybe that wolf girl will fix them up. That wolf girl. Well, uh, I I still don't know how to actually get inside there though is the problem. But um. Maybe we can go talk to that dude again. 
Yeah, 80 minutes? Really? I mean, maybe. Oh, it's just open. You got it. Oh, you're here. See? I told you I'd do it. No trace of Aladoro inside, though. And the Hermit's Cave itself is too deep for me. My next stop is the Relic of Trismegistus, one of Aladoro's favorite treasure hunting grounds. I'm curious why he'd go back there time after time. Oh, maybe I'm getting the hang of this sort of work. See you later, treasure hunter. Uh, you probably better not go over there. Just saying. Attribute purification. Oh, I did not even see that. I was trying to just make sure that she didn't fall off with the item. I don't think that's really a thing in this game. Bombs. At the point of death, not on the body. Someone's report notes, notebook. This place is contaminated too. There isn't much extra water left. The kind hermit helped me, but he knows he's not going to last much longer. Terrible mutations from the side effects of the petrification disease neutralization process. Many people of crop will turn into carcasses, the, alchem the alchemist's monsters. My friends are the only thing that comes to mind in my final moments. Lumaccio is ill. Sophia is missing. Lorenzini lost hope. H is dead. And here I am, Maduro. H? You, you can, like, write out H's name. I'm trying to think of people who start with H. Yeah, I can't think of anyone. We risked our lives and fought for each, other, for each post, but sometimes there are no rewards. Still, some things are left. Something even power and lies can't hide. The truth... Uh, someone will unearth the truth, someone will unveil the lie, taking the extra step forward for the people coming behind. I believe that was my role. I am Medora the Reporter. My weapon was my pen and the truth. Now I leave my records to you who visit this place from Medoro. Oh wow, this is big. Oh wow, this is big. 
big. worth it. I'm definitely going to have to make a few passes through here. didn't drop anything but still actually yeah we didn't drop anything black steel cutter blade oh we have another weapon to try out it's an advanced weapon a metal cutter blade made by Vanini company the superheater device made from compressed ergo crystal emits great heat and it can even cut through hard armor with ease. Ergo, the fact that such an incredible mineral exists in Krat is a blessing from God. But how is this ergo formed? From Lorenzini Vanini's notes. Yeah, how indeed. The handle of a metal cutter made by Vanini Company. The handle was crafted from black iron with remarkable heat tolerance. The cutting machine is one of Vanini's first inventions. Even the people who called Vanini a he could not scoff at his brilliant business acumen. I'm a little bit confused by the by the timeline because it sounds like Ergo's existed for decades and they've used it to mass produce these puppets. But like yeah, how much Ergo does one person create when they die of the petrification disease? I mean it has to be Somewhat significant for nobody to have noticed the correlation at all.
wow, that's an excessive crystal. Let's wait for that to die down. Disruption seems to be the main order of the day around here, so let's, uh... Or is this my best disruption? No, this is a better disruption. By a bit. No! What? What the heck? Wow. Rude. Is just mean at the end of the day just plain mean I've seen the revelation of the blue butterfly they've asked me to free them from this prison of time okay so she was able to talk to other people then the fairy is the far fairy what The fairy is far, the fairy is crying, the hands on the clock have gone round and round to find the boy's future. Are you the hermit? Okay, I'm assuming that must have been the hermit. Why am I going here?
Misty ERA a record uh, to protect the people you love sometimes you must take steps through uncertain times and stand up again even in this era when you can't see ahead of you a piano rings with emotion misty era to accompany the foggy mornings of Krat. I leave the butterflies riding here. Remember, you are human. Now it's time to get out of the string. Black cat's hunting apparel and another quartz. show up as new, but the hunting apparel of the black cat. It is an extra set stolen by robbers who are drawn to its quality. As a cat who had lived alone in the slums, he trusted no one but himself. However, his mind changed completely when he met the fox. Still, at least one more item that I know we haven't got towards the beginning. that two items then.
So yeah, there's that up there somehow. Which is what I was originally talking about. Okay, yeah. No! 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 Why? That's so mean. So mean, okay. Let's talk to this dude again. I'm trying to track down Mr. Alidoro. We can catch up later. Okay. I keep adding a symbol to Alidoro's name. I keep calling him Alidoro for some reason. off. I, Alidoro, am too great a treasure hunter to be done away with. Who would take my place? See for yourself. I sell only the best treasure. Who would take your place?
Well. I mean, I can think of someone who could. But I don't know for sure. Okay, here's the thing. Like, we definitely have more bosses. And, uh, you know, I, I might want their weapons. And maybe if I kill him, uh, the other, other dude will take his place and sell me stuff. But what if that doesn't happen, you know? So, I don't want to risk it. It's risky. I could attack him. And I really, I really want to kill that guy. Like, believe me. <sighs> okay, well. Okay. Oh, wow. It's, it's been like an hour. All right. Well, we're going to end this episode here. When we come back next time, we will start to explore the Isle of Alchemists. So, anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.